All right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Cade here, the CEO and founder of Coach Here. Today, we're going to have a little bit of a different train today. I'm going to teach you how you can have a high performing lifestyle so you can get in shape and get more done in your life. All right. So first and foremost, if you're new here and you're just watching here and you're wondering, like, why should I be listening to you? Um, why are you going to teach me how to have a high performing lifestyle? Well, personally, for myself, I mean, I run a pretty successful online business. I work 10 to 12 hour days at least. Usually I work almost every day and uh, I work out every single day. I'm in great shape and uh, I've also helped a lot of people become high performing people. And I know a lot of high performers as well. So that's a little bit about me um, and whatnot. And also just listen to the training and let me know if it helps you or not. And now all I ask too is that if it does help you out here on your health and journey and just in your life in general, just leave a like and a subscribe. That's all I ask. And uh, let's jump into this here, guys. So how to have a high performing lifestyle. So I broke this down here. You're going to see I have a chart there. That straight line, that horizontal line there is going to be like your day. And then I have some bullet points on where your energy is usually dropping the lowest and where we struggle the most in our daily lives. All right. And then in the, under this blue here, we're going to talk about also common traits of high performers. So let's jump into the routine side of things. And first, let's talk about where do we mess up most guys? When we try to have energy, when we try to feel better, when we try to get into a good routine, like where do we always mess up most? Number one, as soon as we wake up in the morning, um, the first one to two hours of your day is crucial. You ever hear the book? There's a book called Win the Morning, Win the Day. It's an unbelievably good book. And I'm a true believer that that is the facts. If you can win the morning, you will have an amazing day. I promise you that. And even if you're going to have a, end up having a horrible day, you'll handle it so much better. So at the end of the day, you will feel good about yourself either way. So what do most people do to mess up their mornings? Well, number one, as soon as they wake up in the morning, they hit snooze. Snooze is setting that tone for the day, right? It's like being undisciplined. We don't want to snooze. Personally, I struggle with snoozing as well, once in a while as well. It's something I'm working on too. So um, just know everyone has these challenges, guys. Everyone deals with different challenges. So snooze is number one. Number two here is going on our phones as soon as we wake up in the morning. You know, that is like asking for anxiety to flow into your body. So do not go on your phone as soon as you wake up. It's literally just going to fill you with anxiety. All right. Number three here is not having any kind of morning routine, just kind of being all over the place, sloppy around. I'm not sure what to do. You know, might shower today, might brush my teeth. Like, have a morning routine where it's like self-care, take care of yourself. And I always say to my clients is like, do something in the morning that's going to get your mind on track. So what that means is like meditation, reading, things that are going to wake up your mind, things are going to get you into the current present moment. Um, I find meditation is amazing for that. So if you're someone who has very high anxiety, if uh, depression, meditate every single morning for like 10 minutes or so. And it is amazing. It does wonders. You won't see results overnight, just like anything, but if you stay consistent, you will. Now, meditation, reading is important because it gets your brain functioning properly. Also, just, just knowledge, right? To learn. That's going to stack a win for you for the day and make you feel so much more confident going in your day because it's like you're doing things for yourself that maybe you don't necessarily want to do, but you do it anyway so you can grow and get better. And that's what it's all about, right? Is like setting that pace for the day, building that momentum. Because... You can't rely on motivation when it comes to stuff, guys, when it comes to trying to lose weight and everything, because it runs out within about two to six weeks. We need to focus on momentum. So we need to stack wins. We need to build wins. If it's making your bed, if it's brushing your teeth, if it's taking care of yourself, if it's shaving, if it's uh, uh, reading, meditation, anything, do all those wins and then pay attention to them and stack them, stack them, stack them. And that's going to build a lot of confidence in yourself. So you're going to go crush your day, right? Now, the next thing is don't rush in the morning. Don't rush in the morning. A lot of people, they self-sabotage their days because they get up too late. They're rushing to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then their cortisol levels are already spiking because they're stressed out. They're trying to rush to work. They're in traffic. Then they maybe go get some fast food because they're starving to death and they skip their breakfast. That fast food is probably going to have some very unhealthy carbs. It's going to crash their energy levels. They're going to have to take caffeine to try to spike it back up. And it's a complete mess. Now they're going to work with gut issues. They feel terrible. Their cortisol spiked and they're not going to perform the way they want to. And then when more stress comes their way during the day, it's just going to make things worse, right? So we do not want to rush in the morning. This is why another one common trait of successful people, which I'll share with you in just high performing people is they get up a little earlier. 
Okay. So getting up early enough where, where you have that time to get your self care and everything taken care of there and you don't have to rush to work. That is key. If you can make your breakfast while listening to like a positive um, podcast where you're just getting yourself pumped up and you're getting ready for the day, you're going to crush that day. I find when myself, like I listen to, to a lot of these podcasts and these motivating people and these inspiring people that I want to be like, and, uh, and I put it in and I'm making my breakfast. I'm making a high protein breakfast and I'm just getting myself pumped up and amped up for the day. I'm getting excited. I'm getting myself motivated because it really does work, guys. I promise you. And if you can really set your morning routine up like that, I, I swear, I swear on my life, it's going to cause wonders in your life. It's going to make you feel so much better. But you got to do it. Okay, you got to do it. I promise you. Try it out. And it will make you feel so good. Now, <clears throat> that's the morning side of things, okay, um, that we want to take care of. Once we get the morning out of the way, we're set. And another thing, too, is that if you can swallow the biggest frog first, which means um, if you can get the hardest part of your day over with in the first things first in the morning, that's going to create some really strong grit, right? So let's say a lot of people are into like, uh, a lot of people are into like the ice baths now, right? Um, if you do ice baths, ice baths, maybe do in the morning, as soon as you wake up, because now you're just like instantly put yourself in a new environment. You're challenging yourself. Your body's like shocking. It's like, Whoa, like what's going on here? It's uncomfortable. And that's going to really set the tone for your day too. Okay. So. That's the first part, okay, is when we wake up. The next part where we often mess up on when it comes to high performing and, and not trying to be better is lunchtime, okay? Lunchtime, if we're not prepared, if we don't have a lunch packed and it's high protein, healthy carbs, and we go eat out and like some unhealthy food, fast food, whatever it may be, um, it's going to crash our energy levels, okay? Or if we're consuming too much caffeine, if we're consuming over 400 milligrams of caffeine, and we're just going to completely crash ourselves because it's just not good for you whatsoever to consume too much caffeine, um, that can also affect you as well. So lunchtime, the biggest key here is be prepared, right? Have your lunch prepared, have it ready for the day. So that way you don't have to go get like some unhealthy food and completely crash your energy levels. Because Everybody knows what it's like when we eat some garbage food that's not good for us, and then it completely just drains us of our life, right? So that's another one there. That's an easy fix, though. Now, after 12 p.m., the next hardest part, I think this is going to be a very common one for a lot of you busy workers out there, is that 4 to 6 p.m. mark. Okay, that 4 to 6 p.m. mark, you get off work, you're exhausted from work, right? So instantly what, what, what we want to do is we want to go home and land the couch and relax or want to grab a snack or want to eat some food and chill out, right? It's the worst thing we can do for ourselves, guys, because here's the thing. If you want energy, you need to move your body, all right? It's, it's crazy how it works, but the more we move, the more energy we'll actually get. It's crazy. Like we expend energy, we, 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 we invest energy into movement and exercise, and we get energy back. So the worst thing we can do here is after work at 4 to 6 p.m. is to go home and lay on the couch because now we're going to get even more drained. We're going to get very comfortable. We're probably going to snack on something unhealthy. The best thing you can do for yourself after work is instantly move your body. Instantly go move your body. Instantly go outside of your environment. Go do something um, in nature, whatever it may be, to just get more light, to get more energy. That way it can sustain you for the rest of the night and you can really live a life you want to. Because if you think about it, from 4 to like, let's say if you go to bed at 11 p.m. or whatever, that's so much time, right? We often say that we don't have enough time, but it's like, hey, like, you know, like, what? let's say, okay, you got, like, let, let's say, you know, you're sleeping, you sleep around seven, eight hours or so, um, and, and you're up for the whole day, and then you work about eight hours. Or so like you still have so much time from like four or three or five, all the way to like 11 or 12, or whenever, we, whenever you go to bed. That's so much time, guys. But we just need the energy, we need the life to be able to take action in that time, right? Because if we go home, we sit on our phones, we sit on the couch to relax for a little bit, three hours goes by like this when you're on your phone. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe that you have enough time, guys, Go look at your phone and go look at the time you spend on your phone and it will give you the answers right there. We are all surprised every single time we do this. We're all surprised because it's like, wow, I did not think I spent that much time on my phone. But it's because time flies when we're just sucked into those devices. So the best thing you can do for yourself after work is to get up, move, move your body, get in nature, whatever it may be, something that gives you life. Okay. And then the next part is making sure you have a healthy supper. But at that point, it doesn't really matter because now you're kind of winding down for the day and getting ready to relax. But the last part here, okay, the last part here is sleep. 
when we go to bed, okay, the morning routine starts with when you're going to bed, okay? And this means that we want to make sure we're in bed at the right time, try to respect our circadian rhythm, you know, sleep and wake up at the same times, and, uh, and making sure that we're not doing anything that's going to keep us up all night, like sugar, caffeine, stuff like that, um, and having a good night's sleep. I cannot stress this enough. One of the best or easiest ways to have a high-performing lifestyle is to sleep enough at nighttime, like make your sleep one of the top, top, top priorities in your self-care and it will do wonders for you and how you feel. So making sure you get a good sleep routine in, making sure you get good sleep in at nighttime and that's gonna help you start the next day off very well. If you're at the end of the day and you're stressing out, if you're struggling, meditate, you can do uh, journaling, whatever it may be, okay? So that's kind of where we mess up most and how to fix it. Now let's talk about uh, common traits here. Common traits of people who are very high performing, I've noticed, is number one, and also this is just like even with my most successful clients, like the ones who have dropped like, you know, eight, 10 pounds a month or have built six packs after losing 100 pounds, like just crazy, insane results. Um, even the moms who have lost 20 pounds and they have four kids and they work full time and they got completely toned and built their dream bodies. This is their common traits is that they have a routine in place. It's not a guessing game for them. They know exactly what they need to do when they need to do it. The next thing is that they get up earlier. They're on track. They're sharp. They're ready to rock and roll. They're prepared for the day. The next thing is they eat very well most of the time. They still have the cheat meals. They still have beer and drinks and wine and stuff here and there, but it's all about time and place, right? That's not a priority for them. The fun and like in the, in the, in the slacking off and the distraction stuff is not a priority for them. They want to accomplish their goals. They want to feel good in life. Um, so they eat well. They fuel their bodies well. The next thing here is that they're very prepared, like I mentioned. They're very, very prepared. They, they got their meals on track. They meal prep. Whatever they got to do, their gym bags are ready. They're prepared, okay? The next one here is that they're driven. They have focus and they have a vision. They have goals that they're wanting to work towards and they're laser focused on them and they're very specific. They focus clearly on what they want to accomplish and they don't lose focus of what they want. The last one here too is that they're disciplined, but also... Like another thing to remember, guys, is like if you're struggling, if you're just starting out, if you if you have a if you if your struggle right now is like you're just trying to get out of bed in the morning because some people, you know, are really struggling like that. Right. Like some people who they want to have this lifestyle, they want to feel better, they want to they want to grow and get better. But sometimes they're in such a low spot that they can barely get out of bed in the morning. And what I would suggest to you is I would say just like, OK, well, then start with making your bed and then start with like having a healthy breakfast and then do that for a month straight and then build off that. I don't, you, you don't want to go from where you're at right now, let's say at the lowest point, and then try to become as high performer overnight. It doesn't happen like that. Nobody gets there like that. It's something that we have to build up over time. We build the capacity to be able to do it, right? It took me about like, I mean, I've been on my own self-development journey for about eight to nine years now. Um, so it took me a long time to get to where I'm at now in my life and my discipline, but it's something that we just build up on and we just enjoy the journey. You know, we, we just got to have, we just got to have love with the journey, enjoy the journey because we only grow, we only get better. And as you look back over time, you're going to notice that your results are compound and it's getting quicker and quicker and quicker. Okay. Um, like for example, here's a wild example I've noticed personally, and I know a lot of you who read will probably notice this too is that the more books you read, the more quicker you can put together your thoughts and everything because you're grabbing it from different places and you're putting it together. So the more quicker you learn, um, the more you learn, the quicker you will learn. So like when you read a book, a new book, you can put together the thoughts and like the process behind it um, way quicker if you also have read other books. It's really cool. So it's the same thing though with your personal development journey, with your weight loss, the whole nine yards. So Remember that though, because some of you might feel discouraged right now. Like, ah, I don't know if I could ever do that. I was the same exact way. Okay. But don't think about that because that doesn't serve you. Just focus on, okay, well, what, what am I struggling with most right now in my life? What is really not serving me and, uh, and how can I fix it? And then, and then double down on that. Okay. Work on that section and then just get better. And then one day you're going to wake up and that is not even going to be a problem anymore. You're going to, you're going to accomplish it. Check that off and then work on the next thing. And you're going to be surprised about how quick you can actually change. Um, you know, we often like we, we really mess up with our timing when we think about it. Like we always think like, oh, my gosh, it's going to take me, you know, this month, this many months to get in shape. And it's like, yeah, but do you understand that? Like if you just take that four months or that three or six months to get in shape, you're going to be in shape for the rest of your life. And, uh, and you have another 20, 30, 50, 40 years to live. So wouldn't it be worth it? Just take that time and just make it happen instead of like putting it off and like making excuses hundred percent. Right. 
So that's the way we want to think there. But anyways, guys, that's the training for today. So it's a very different one. So I want to know your opinion below, guys. Like, do you want me to make more trainings like this? Do you want me to make more weight loss? What do you want to learn below? Comment down below and I can make them around what you guys want to learn. But this is something that just spoke to me today that I want to share with you on how to have a high performing lifestyle. Now, if you did like this as well, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe below. And if you do want some help with weight loss, we specialize in weight loss so you can feel better, have more energy. You can apply below as well. There's a link there. Um, and I do guarantee my results because we'll crush it together. All right. That's the training for today, y'all. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day though. Keep crushing it. Keep moving forward because I promise you this self-development journey, there's this, this one quote we should all live by. In life, we're either growing or we're either dying. Okay. So keep growing and never stop. I'll see you guys later.